Him in the light of His glory and grace. Praise you, O God. Let us all be seated. Makakaupo na po tayong lahat. At uh, once again, how is each and everyone? How is everyone? How is everybody? Kumusta kayong lahat? Praise God. 
the Lord is faithful in our lives. That's why we are still here. No? Ang Diyos ay tapat sa ating buhay, kaya naririto pa rin tayo. And uh, God is uh, so kind and so good to us. Amen. And uh, sa ating pong pag-aaral, I would like us to read from the book of Mark, mula sa aklat ng Marcos, chapter 8. Mark, chapter 8, from verse 14 to 21. Marcos, chapter 8, verses 14 to 21. Ganito po yung ating mababasa. I will read it first in English, and then I will read it in Tagalog. The disciples had forgotten to bring enough bread and had only one loaf with them in the boat. Take care, Jesus warned them, and be on your guard against the yeast of the Pharisees and the yeast of Herod. 16. They started discussing among themselves. He says, this because we don't have any bread. 17. Jesus knew what they were saying, so he asked them, why are you discussing about not having any bread? Don't you know or understand yet? Are your mind so dull? You have eyes, can you see? Can't you see? You have ears, can't you hear? Don't you remember when I broke the five loaves for the 5,000 people? How many baskets full of leftover pieces did, did you take up? Twelve, they answered. 20, verse 20. And when I broke the seven loaves for the 4,000 people, asked Jesus, How many baskets full of leftover pieces did you take up? Seven, they answered. And you still don't understand? He asked them. Sa wikang Tagalog, nakalimutan ng mga alagad na magdala ng tinapay at iisa na lang ang nalamang na ang tinapay na ang natira sa tinapay na dala nila sa bangka. Sinabi ni Jesus sa kanila, Mag-ingat kayo sa pampaalsang ginagamit ng mga pareseyo at ni Herodes. Sabi nila sa isa't isa, Wala kasi tayong dalang tinapay, kaya sinabi niyo yun. Dahil alam ni Jesus ang kanilang pinag-uusapan, sinabi niya sa kanila, Bakit ninyo pinag-uusapang wala, walang dalang, kayo walang dalang tinapay? Hindi pa ba kayo nakakaintindi? Hindi pa ba ito abot ng inyong isip? Wala ba kayong mata? Wala ba kayong tainga? Nakalimbutan na ba ninyo ng paghati-hatiin ko? Ang limang tinapay para si limang, liba, limang libong tao? Ilang kaing ang napuno ninyo ng lumabis na pagkain? Labindalwa po, tugon nila. 20. At nang paghati-hatiin ko ang pitong tinapay para sa apat na libong tao, ilang kaing ang napuno ninyo? Tanong niya. Pito po, muli nilang sinagot. At hindi pa rin ba ninyo naunawaan ito? Tanong niya. Purihin ang Panginoon. Praise the Lord for the freedom to read His scriptures. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Manalangin tayo. Most High God, we worship you. We thank you for the passages that we have just read. We pray, Father, that you bless your word. As we partake your words, Father, we pray to open the eyes of understanding of each and every one that we were able th that we would be able to understand everything that you want us to understand. Father in heaven, we pray for the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding and the power of the Holy Spirit to move in our hearts and in our lives. Thank you, Father. Bless each and every one. And we thank you, Lord, for the uh, anointing of the Holy Spirit in this place. In Jesus' mighty name, this we pray. Let us all say, Amen! 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 At, uh, let us give our Lord a clap offering. Amen. He is worthy of all praises. The title of this uh, of this topic, the lamp to our feet and the lamp, the lamp for our feet and uh, for our body and the lamp to our path. Amen. Last week, no, last week we have studied, no, we have tackled about the eyes, tama po. Pinag-aralan natin ang tungkol sa mata. And 
ice, as we all know, that it is or ice are one of the most important parts of our body. And by our eyes, we are able to see. By, by our eyes, we are able to know the directions that we are about to go or we are going. Now, mga kapatid, in these passages that we have just read, uh, there we see, dito makikita natin that Jesus Christ, or Jesus Christ was pertaining to the eyes other than the uh, eyes that the disciples were thinking, no? Ang Panginoong, ang, ang Panginoong Jesus, He was, uh, tinutukoy niya rito yung mga mata na uh, hindi nauunawaan ng mga disipulo kesa doon sa mga mata na nakikita ng mga disipulo. Because sabi niyang ganun, we see from the passage that disciples did not understand the spiritual things that Jesus Christ was talking about. No? They were not able to understand. Sabi nila, no? sabi ng Panginoong Jesus, when Jesus Christ was telling them that um, uh, Jesus Christ was telling them, uh, be careful or be on, your, your, be on your guard against the yeast of the Pharisees and the yeast of, the, of Herod, then they were asking to themselves because yeast, alam niyo yung yeast, di ba? Ito ay pampaalsa. Because yeast is one of the ingredients in making bread, in baking bread. That is why they were thinking that, oh, we don't have bread because we don't bring any bread at all. No? So, uh, we only have one bread. They were telling themselves to each other. No? So, sabi nila, uh, kasi wala tayong dalang tinapay. Sabi ganun. But then, Jesus Christ was pertaining to another, uh, another thing in a spiritual manner. He was talking in a spiritual manner that Jesus Christ would want His disciples to understand beyond what they see. No? Gusto ng Panginoong Jesus na maunawaan nila yung tinutukoy niya sa spiritual na pamamaraan at hindi doon sa kung ano yung nakikita ng kanilang mata. So in this uh, in this passages we are we we see there are two kinds of eyes no one is the physical eyes that we have and then the other eyes is the spiritual the other eyes are the spiritual eyes and then but the lord jesus they uh, the the disciples were looking and Perceiving things in physical. In physical, no? Sinasabi nila physical, nauunawaan nila sa parang spiritual. But then the Lord Jesus was speaking to them in a spiritual manner. And then what He said, Jesus, was, uh, Jesus told them, Why are you discussing about not having bread anymore? Bakit ninyo sinasabi na wala nang, wala nang tinapay? Sabi niya gano'n, wala kayong dalang tinapay. Did you, don't you know or understand yet? Hindi pa ba ninyo nauunawaan? Sabi niyang ganun, sabi niyang ganun, are your minds so dull? Sa, hindi pa ba ninyo nauunawaan? Sabi niyang ganun, or you have eyes, can't you see? You have ears, can't you hear? Sabi niya, no? sabi niya, hindi pa ba kayo nakakaintindi? Hindi pa ba ito abot ng inyong isip? Wala ba kayong mata? Wala ba kayong tainga? Have you, don't you remember when I broke the five lobes for the 5,000 people? Nakalimutan nyo na ba? Have you forgotten that I did miracles by uh, with five loaves of bread and fed 5,000 people? And how many were left over? And then the disciples replied. They told him there were 12 basketfuls. And then he asked again, don't you remember that I did miracles? By feeding 4,000 people's people by uh, seven loaves of bread, how many is, how many leftovers pieces, how many leftover pieces were there? And they told him, we had seven. Now, mga kapatid, and they don't still understand. Now, mga kapatid, the Lord Jesus was telling them that, you have eyes, but you can't see. Meron kayong mata, pero hindi ninyo nakikita. You have ears, but you can't hear. Can't you hear? Now, he was referring to another, uh, another understanding of the passage. No, of the passage. 
Kaya sabi niya, um, when, I, uh, when our eyes are dull, kapag malabo yung ating mata, when our eyes are, are blinded, then we will not be able to see things. We will not be able to understand the things of God. If our spiritual eyes are dull, if our spiritual eyes are uh, blind, then we cannot or we can never understand the things of God. We will never understand the things of God. And so, meaning, sabing ganon, the eyes, our physical eyes are the lamp for our, pa, for, for our body. Ito yung ilaw ng ating katawan. And in a spiritual realm, our physical eyes, our eyes, no, spiritual eyes, are the light for, or the lamp for our body. And then, sabi naman, according to Psalms 119, verse 105, it says there, the, your word is a lamp to my feet. No? Sabi ng ganon, Psalms 119, verse 105, your uh, 119 verse 105 it says there praise sabing ganito verse 5 119 verse 105 it says there your word is a lamp to guide me and a light for my path. Salita mo ay isang tanglaw na sa akin ay patnubay sa landas kong daraanan, liwanag na tumatanglaw. Ibig sabihin, ang salita ng Diyos ang siyang liwanag natin at giyan natin, our guide. Because we have, sabi nga nun, the light for my path. Meaning, we have roads to take. And while we are taking the road, you are walking, you are in the life's journey, you therefore are not walking without destiny. Hindi ka lalakad nung wala kang destinasyon. Hindi ka maglalakbay nung wala kang destinasyon. Therefore, the word of the Lord is the lamp for your feet. And, sabi nga nun, the guide, to guide you and a light for your path. So meaning, if you have the word of God, now understand this, if you have the word of God, and then you have the uh, sound eyes, malino ang paningin mo, at meron kang salita ng Diyos, what will happen to you? Meaning, you will understand the will of God. And what will happen when you understand the will of God, you will turn away from sin. Lalayo ka sa kasalanan. And you will understand God's directions in your life. You will, you will be able to have a clear insights. Magkakaroon ka ng maliwanag na pananaw when you have the word of God and your and your eyes are sound, malinaw ang inyong pangunawa, ang inyong paningin, therefore you have a clear insights, and therefore you have a clear view of things. Meron kayong malinaw na pananaw sa buhay, and then you will know also the word of God, the works of God, the will of God, the ways of God, and then you will know His, uh, His walk. Malalaman ninyo, ano ang kalooban ng Ama? Ano ang kalooban ng Diyos? Because you have the clear understanding. You have the clear vision. You have the clear views. You have the clear insight of what is the will of God. You will know His word. You will know His ways. Ang daan ng Diyos. You will know His walk. Yung kanyang nilakaran. You will know His work. You will know His will. And therefore, you will turn away from sin. Amen? Because you know. How can a person know that he sinned if his eyes are blinded? 
because it is the flesh himself that that controls him and not uh, it is already the the flesh no that's controlling him because it's he's yielding his flesh to the uh, to the temptations or to the lusts now mga kapatid if you have the word of god and the eyes to understand the will of god therefore you will no longer lie just like what our teacher Sam was telling us earlier you will no longer lie you will no longer you will no longer lie you will no longer steal you will no longer fornicate you will no longer adult uh, commit adultery you will no longer uh, do immoralities you will avoid homosexualities you will avoid gossiping you will avoid quarrelings you will avoid any form of hatred uh, um, um, hatred uh, anger and uh, vengeance everything that is not of God you will avoid us because you have the eyes of understanding you have the word of God to guide you as you walk to, to guide you as you work for the will of God as you do your duties you have the directions and you are clearly seeing everything in the way God sees things in the way not in not, the, not in the way you see things but in the way God sees things in the ways of God in the will of God in the works of God through the words of God amen now mga kapatid I divided it into three uh, three points also number one the perceptions of a sick spiritual eyes yung mga uh, iniisip no ng mga uh, may sakit na mata and then na, na spiritual pangalawa the positivities positibo na nangyayari pagka meron kang malinaw na paningin spiritual the possibility positivities of a sound spiritual eyes and then number three the perils or destructions of the stubborn hearted people or the blind people no so when we say uh, blind eyes meaning when we say um blur eyes blur malabong mata no when we say blind when we say dull eyes ibig sabihin una you don't understand things no you don't understand the things of god ikalawa number two is that um ang ikalawa ay you are meaning you are unable to see your directions hindi mo makikita ang iyong direction if you have the eyes that is blur and then uh you what will happen number one in the point number one Ang, 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 ang point natin dito, the perception of a sick spiritual eyes. Number, number one, when you have a blur or blinded eyes, you will be able to see good things as bad, as evil. No? Makikita mo yung mga bagay na, na mga mabubuti, sasabihin mo masama. Isaiah chapter 5 verse 20, these are the eyes of those who are uh, blinded. Isaiah chapter 5 verse 20, it says here, 520, you are doomed. You call evil good and call good evil. You turn darkness into light and light into darkness. You make what is bitter sweet and what is sweet you make bitter. Sabing ganon, kawawa kayo, mga baliktad, ang isip. Meaning, kapag Kapag ang mata mo, spiritual, meaning if your spiritual eyes are blind, then you have what we call uh, your, your mind according to here. No? You are doomed. Why? Because you have the eyes, uh, you have the bird eyes, you have the blinded eyes. Kawawa kayo, mga baliktad, ang isip. Ang mabuting gawa ay minamasama. At minamabuti naman iyong masama. 
ang kaliwanag ay ginagawang kadiliman at ang kadilim ay itinuturing na kaliwanagan sa lasang mapait ang sabi matamis. Sa lasang matamis ang sabi mapait. These are the minds, the, the, the thinking, the perception of those who have blind eyes. These are the perceptions. Ito inis, the good becomes evil for them. Yung pangangaral ng salita ng Diyos, uh, they call it, uh, wala yan. They, they call it evil. Maging uh, inaakay mo when you are, uh, when you are, um, like, um, inaakay mo, no? Your, your brother or your sister, you want him to go with you, and then your brother, would, uh, the, the person, the unbeliever would tell, oh, let us just drink wine. Don't go there. Inom na lang tayo. Ah, you are just wasting your time. Ah, uh, so, uh, doon, sabi nila ganun, doon, uh, you can no longer drink. You can no longer do smoking. There's no freedom there. I don't like it there. Ayoko dyan kasi you, you don't have freedom to drink wine. You don't have freedom to smoke. You don't have freedom to go with girls, flirt with girls, flirt with boys. You don't have any more freedom. That is why I don't like it there. So, ibig sabihin, they call things, they call good things as evil. No? And then, light, darkness. And then, sweet, bitter. Ginagawa nilang baliktad ang mga bagay. They have blind eyes. They have dull understanding and they are seeing things according to the physical realm. Amen? Now, mga kapatid, ano pa? Seeing others, when number one, no? seeing good things, evil. Number two, when you have, when that person has a blind eyes, he or she would see other people's faults before seeing self, self's fault. No, kapag blind, when you, when a person is blind, you are seeing one's fault, your neighbor's fault. No, tinitingnan mo, ah, etong kapitbahay ko, ah, etong si ano, ah, eto si ano. No, you are looking, you are a fault finder then, and instead of looking at yourself, you are looking to your neighbor's fault, your neighbor's mistakes, your neighbor's sin, this, uh, in instead of looking at yourself first. And then, what Matthew chapter 7 verses 3 and 5 tells us, it says here, ano ang sinasabi ng Matthew chapter 7 verses 3 and 5? Sabing ganito sa wikang Tagalog, um, Bakit mo pinapansin ang puwing sa mata ng iyong kapatid? Ngunit hindi mo pinapansin ang trosong nasa iyong mata. Paano mong masasabi sa iyong kapatid? Halikat aalisin ko ang puwing mo, gayong troso ang nasa mata mo. Mapagkunwari, alisin mo muna ang trosong nasa iyong mata at sa gayon, makakakita kang mabuti at maalis mo ang puwing ng iyong kapatid. It says in English, sabing ganon, Why then do you look at the speck in your brother's eyes and, no, and pay no attention to the log in your own eye? How dare you say to your brother, Please let me take the speck out of your eye when you have a log in your own eye. You hypocrite. Anong tawag ng Diyos? You hypocrite. Mapagpaimbabaw. Sabing ganon. First, take the log out of your own eye and then you will be able to see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. Amen? Masakit, di ba? <laughs> because that is us. We are always finding fault to others and then condemn people. No? Kinocondemn na, ah, si ganito yan, ah, si ganito yan. Ah, this brother, ah, this sister, ah, this no? We are already condemning them. No? Hinahatulan na natin sila samantala. The Bible was telling us, uh, Matthew chapter verse uh, chapter 7, verses 1 and 2, what was the type the Bible telling us? Huwag kayong humatol at nang kayo'y di hatulan sapagkat 
hahatulan kayo ng Diyos sa para ayon sa paghatol ninyo sa iba at susukatin kayo ayon sa panukat na, sin- na sinusukat nyo na ginagamit nyo sa iba. Sabi doon, do not judge others so that God will not judge you for God will judge you in the same way you judge others and He will apply to you the same rules you apply to others. So, if you are like that, you thought that you are already in the light, iniisip mo na ikaw ay nasa liwanag na, oh, dumadalo ko, I am attending church regularly, I am, I am giving my tithes, I am giving my offering, and then you are still doing that thing, therefore, be careful, be on your guard. Why? Because the, what you are thinking, that you are in the light, but yet, you that the real that the fact is you are still in darkness akala mo nagbibigay ka ng tights nagbibigay ka ng ikapu araw-araw tuwing linggo dumadalo ka but then mapamintas ka sa tao mo uh, sa, sa kapwa mo sinisita mo yung kasalanan niya you are uh, finding fault against your brother against your sister and you think to yourself you thought to yourself that you are already in the light be careful because what you think that you are in the light, you are not real in the light, but in the darkness. Amen? Kayo ay nasa kadiliman pa kung kapag ganun ang karakter ninyo. If you have that character, you are spiritually blind. Amen? Masakit, di ba? Masakit ang salita ng Diyos eh. But it disciplines and it uh, it builds our spiritual being. Another uh, look at this. There is an example in Luke chapter 18. Please, Luke chapter 18, verses 9 to 12. Ito pa, isa pa to. Why? Uh, there are people who are looking to their neighbor's fault, to their fellow's fault, and then they told themselves, ah, ako, hindi ako gumagawa niyan. Oh, look at this. I am, not, I am not doing that thing. Look at this. Luke chapter 18, 18 verses 9 to 12, it says here, 18 verses uh, 9 to 12, sinabi rin niya ang talinhagang ito sa mga taong mababa ang tingin sa iba at nag-aakalang sila'y matuwid. May dalawang lalaking pumasok sa templo upang manalangin. Ang isa ay pareseyo at ang isa ay maniningil ng buwis. Tumayo ang pareseyo at nanalangin ng ganito tungkol sa kanyang sarili. O Diyos, nagpapasalamat ako sa iyo da- sapagkat hindi ako katulad ng iba na mga magnanakaw, mandaraya, mga ngalunya. No, look at this situation. He was praying. No? He was doing, uh, he thought to himself that he is doing a holy thing. He was communicating with the Lord. But then, his prayers are not according to the will of the Lord. He was telling that, Oh, Diyos, sabi niya ganun, I thank you, Lord, that I am not that greedy, dishonest, or an adulterer like every, everybody else. I thank you that I am not like that tax collector over there. He was seeing a tax collector over there. Also was praying and that tax collector who was praying he was telling himself no but the tax collects uh, it's uh, no, it's uh, verse 14 the, the tax the 13 first it says there but the tax collector stood at a distance and would not even raise his face to heaven but beat on his breast and said god have pity on me i'm a sinner i tell you uh, no i'm a sinner now sabi ganon uh, he was looking at, uh, he was pointing to, to a tax collector and he was telling, Oh God, uh, I thank you because I am not that kind of tax collector. No? But he was praying. So what the, uh, diba, merong ganya. Oh, oh Lord, buti, buti hindi ako kagaya niya. Oh Lord, buti hindi ako kagaya niya. The Bible was telling us, you are looking at yourself as self-righteous. Tinitingnan nyo ang sarili nyo na matuwid kayo sa paningin lang ninyo. You are looking at yourself as you are righteous but by your own sight. 
But then, what the Lord Jesus was telling, and then in verse 14, I tell you, said Jesus, the tax collector and not the Pharisee was in the right with God. And when he went home, for those who make themselves great will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be made great. Now, mga kapatid, the tax collector, he was, uh, he was beating himself. Oh God, oh God, I'm a sinner. Have pity on me. So, according to the eyes of the Lord, because the Lord wants us to have an eyes like Him. Amen? Amen? According to the eyes of the Lord, the tax collector was even made just, no? right with God. Amen? So when your eyes is blind, when you have spiritual uh, blind, blind eyes, then you would look at yourself as self-righteous. You would tell yourself, ah, ako, buti na lang ako, dumadalo ako tuwing linggo. I am attending the church regularly. I am giving my tithes. Ah, I'm giving offering. Ah, I'm doing service in the Lord. And then, you are continuing doing sinning. Then, the Lord tells us, hypocrite. Mapagpaimbabaw. Amen. Now, another. John chapter 8. Let ng John, John chapter 8, verse 3 hanggang 5. Yun. Dumating noon ang mga tagapagturo ng kautusan at mga pareseyo na may dalang isang babaeng nahuli sa pangangalunya. Iniharap nila ito sa karamihan, verse 3, at sinabi kay Jesus, Guru! Ang babae ito ay nahuli sa aktong pangangalun niya. Please? Ayon sa kautusan ni Moises, dapat batuhin hanggang sa mamatay ang mga katulad niya. Ano naman ang masasabi niya? So, you are these people. no? And then, what the Lord told them, please, verse, verse 6, sabi ng Panginoon, verse 6, um, Itinanong nila ito upang subukin siya at nang may maiparatang sila laban sa kanila. Ngunit yumuko lamang si Jesus at sumulat sa lupa sa pamamagitan ng daliri. Verse 7, patuloy sila ng, sa pagtatanong kaya tumayo si Jesus na nagsalita. Ang sino man sa inyo na walang kasalanan ang siyang unang bumato sa kanya. Who among you? Sabing ganon. Verse, uh, sev, uh, verse 8, Sabing ganon, then he bent again and wrote on the ground when they heard, uh, he said, which every one of you has committed no sin may throw the first stone at her. So if you have the eyes, blind eyes, and you are not looking according to the eyes of the Lord, then meaning I... Uh, you, your eyes are spiritually dull. But then, let us look according to the eyes of God. According to the eyes of Jesus. He told the Pharisees, He told the people, Who among you that does not commit any sin, let him first throw the stone. Then, because that is, uh, that is the way, that was the way how the spiritual things, how Jesus was looking on things, not how people would see in things. So God wants us to do the same way, to see things, to perceive things in the way Jesus wants it. Amen. And then, ano pa? You know what? There is one, uh, I, I love this verse, Proverbs chapter 26, verse 12. Proverbs 26, verse 12. Sabing ganito, says here, nakakita na ba kayo ng taong nag-aakalang siya ang pinakamatalino? 
may, mas may pag-asa pa ang mangmang kaysa taong iyon. No? The most stupid fool is better off than those who think they are wise when they are not. Amen. Now, number two. Uh, second point. We only have like few minutes. The positivities of a sound spiritual eyes o ang mga positibo na nakikita kapag bukas ang iyong mga bata. Una, you have a clear understanding of God's words, ways, wills, walks, works. Now, remember, five things. God's word, a ways, wills, walks, and works. Now, David, remember David, King David, diba? he fell into, into sin. Diba? Nagkasala siya sa Nagkasala siya because when he when he was at his palace, at the terrace of the, his palace, he saw a very, very, very beautiful woman by the name of Bathsheba. And then when, when he looked at, him, at her, she fell in love and she actually like, uh, she desired, she lasted for her. And then what happened? He committed adultery. And then, after committing adultery, after he was being, uh, after his sin was being revealed by a prophet, Nathan, he then immediately went to repentance. Tagsisi agad si Haring David. And then, in his words, Psalms chapter 1, uh, Psalms chapter 19, verse 12 to 14, mga awit, Chapter 19, Psalms, chapter 19, verses 12 to 14. It says here, None of us can see our own errors. Deliver me, Lord, from hidden faults. Keep me safe also from willful sin. Yung kanina, uh, this morning, uh, Brother Sam was talking about willful sin, intentional sin, sin, presumptuous sin. Now, even... King David was telling, keep me safe also from willful sins. Don't let me rule, don't let them rule over me. Then I shall be perfect and free from the from the evil of sin. Sabi niya, walang taong pumupuna sa sarili niyang kamalian. Tama ba? Minsan yung tao, pag pinuna mo, nagagalit pa. No? Puna ka lang puna dyan. ikaw nga eh. Ah, you are correcting me when you are doing the same. Ayaw niya na punupuna siya. No? Walang taong pumupuna sa sarili niyang kamalian. Iligtas mo ako, Yahweh, sa lihim na kasalanan. So, David did the sin secretly. And that sin, according to him, is was a willful sin. And so, David, because his eyes were open, yung mata niya ay nabuksan because of the revelations of the prophet Nathan, and now he acknowledged his sin. Kinilala niya yung kanyang kasalanan. And what Brother Sam was saying, acknowledge sin, and then uh, your sin, repenting sin, and then turning away from sin, and sin no more. Wag na uling magkakasala. So David, when you have a clear eyes, when you sin, Kapag ikaw nagkasala, when you sin, small sin, big sin, secret sin, willful sin, yung uh, kasalanang sinasadya, publicly or in secret, then the Holy Spirit will convict you and will tell you, you have sin. And then you will go immediately to your room and ask repentance from the Lord. Kaya sabi ni Haring David, create in me a pure heart, O Lord. Si Haring David, create in me, just like what we sang, um, create in me a pure heart, Lord, and grant me a righteous spirit, and let not your Holy Spirit depart from me. Sabi ganun ni Haring David, likhaan mo ako ng isang pusong dalisay, O Diyos, at isang matuwid na espiritu ang ibigay mo sa akin, at muli mong panumbalikin ang kagalakan ng iyong kaligtasan sa akin. Now, amen. Now, if you have that positive eyes, then you will look 
on things differently. Just like Jesus, he looked things differently. And then, if you have the eyes and seeing and looking at the spiritual things, you will no longer fix your eyes in these things, in the things of the world. You will no longer fix your eyes, focus your attention in this world's things. Hindi ka na yung gusto ko to, gusto ko to, gusto ko to. I want this, I want this, I want this. You don't do anymore those things. No, you love more Jesus than loving the world. Amen. Mas mahal mo ang pagnono Jesus kesa sa pagmamahal mo sa mundo. And so we fix our eyes upon Jesus. We, kagaya ng inawit, we turn our eyes upon Jesus. Tinitingnan natin, and then you see things, kahit maraming problema, even you are, you are undergoing a lot of tribulations in life, a lot of troubles in your life, a lot, a lot of, uh, a lot of um, uh, problems in your life. You are seeing things differently because you are seeing things with hope. No, you you are maybe in the midst of tribulations, maybe in the midst of the problems, maybe in the midst of confusion. But now, because you have Jesus and you have clear eyes, and you are seeing things according to the perspective of God, therefore you will see hope, and you also will have peace in your mind. No, because it's really different. When I uh, I myself I I had a lot of tribulations in life, but then if I would look at the tribulations of my life. No? Kapag I, I was surrounded by many tribulations in life. But then, if I would look to every tribulation in my life, what will happen to me? I will lose my strength. I will lose my peace. I will lose my hope. But then, because Jesus is there and opened my eyes by His grace, I was able to see things differently. What I see, it's Jesus that is there walking with me. And He is soaring me high above the storm. Amen! Diba? He is soaring you high above the storm. Hindi mo nakikita. You are even higher than the storm. Alam mo, you know the clouds of storm? Because you are looking and you are trusting God, you are even higher than the clouds of storm. You are flying like an eagle. You are soaring high with Jesus. Amen. And so you have peace. You have strength to continue. Because you have hope. You have trusted Jesus. Amen. So it It's really important that we look at things differently in a spiritual manner and walking in the will and the ways and the work and the the the, the words of the Lord. Napakahalaga. Number three, ano pa? No? So, we come to number three. I only have four minutes to discuss this. The perils or destruction of stubborn-hearted people or the dull eyes. Now, isang example lang. I just want to give you one example. It, this is the the life of Lot and his wife. Kilala niyo si Lot? Do you know Lot? Lot? Oo, yung sinunog Sodom and Gomorrah. Remember Sodom and Gomorrah? Sodom and Gomorrah was burned into fire, no? And then, sabi ng anghel, the angel of the Lord told told um, Lot and the family, Get out from Sodom and Gomorrah. Hurry up. Other, otherwise, you'll be burned. So, tumakbo sila. They ran unto the hills. And then, the angel also told them, Do not turn back. Huwag kang lilingon. Huwag kayong lilingon habang tumatakas kayo. Don't turn back. But then, what happened? The wife of Lot turned her back. What happened? She became a pillar of salt. Now, mga kapatid, Lot's wife was about to be uh, rescued. Tama? And Lot's wife was about to enjoy 
the good things ahead for God's plan and purpose for Lot as well as his entire family. But then when she looked back, when she looked back, what happened? She became a pillar of salt. Now, mga kapatid, what's the lesson here? God, uh, the wife of Lot, she was not, she was, although she was um, heading to her salvation, but then when she heard the, maybe she heard the, the, uh, the explosions of Sodom and Gomorrah, the fire, maybe she heard the cries, the agony of the people there. So what she did, she turned back. And then she became pillar of salt. Now, what's the, what's the lesson here? Lot's wife wanted salvation. He wanted to be saved, but then her heart is still in Sodom and Gomorrah. Her heart was still in Sodom and Gomorrah. So what happened to her? She died. She, she, made, she was a pillar of salt. Now, ano ang ibig sabihin dito, mga kapatid? What was the lesson here? Now, my sisters, my brothers, you are on your way to your salvation towards heaven. But then, if your heart is still holding things, holding things of this world, but then it can be a cause for your destruction. Amen? Kapag ang, na, na, kayo ay tumatakbo na, papunta sa inyong kaligtasan, but then, meron pa kayong iniingatan ng mga bagay sa puso nyo. And then, that can even, yan ang bagay na maari maghadlang sa inyo, sa inyong patutunguhan. You, the, the wife of Lot, she was already to go to her destination, but she did not see, she did not look to her destination. She did not look by the eyes of uh, spiritual eyes. She did not look to her destination. She looked back what she left in Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay? So, ano ang ibig sabihin nito? Brothers, sisters. God is so faithful. God wants us to understand things his way his wills by our spiritual eyes and not by and and um, not by our physical eyes he wants us to understand more deeply about him know him more know his will more and to love him more amen amen so mga kapatid let us all rise up Hallelujah. Let us take this opportunity to talk to our God. Let us take this opportunity to examine ourselves. Am I spiritually dull? Are my eyes blind? Are my ears dull? The, the disciplinings of the Lord the chastisement of the Lord, I could not even see. The purpose of the Lord, I could not even see. Or brother or sister, are you still holding things in your heart that would even endanger your soul and forfeit the good things that God has prepared for you? Let us examine ourselves. O God Most High, we bless your name. Speak to our hearts right now, Father. Lord, you see each and every one of us. You know every detail of our lives. Father in heaven, we cannot hide anything from you. We cannot hide, we cannot even hide everything from you because in, by your eyes, in your eyes, Everything is naked, Lord. Father, we pray, search us, and if you see, and if you find us, Lord, that we are still spiritually blind, our eyes are blurred, our eyes are blinded by many things in this life. Father, we ask of your forgiveness, Lord, if we did something against your will because of the dullness of our eyes, because of the dullness of our ears. 
Lord, we want to understand your things the way you want us to understand those things, Lord. Father in heaven, open the eyes of our understanding that we may be able to understand your things, Lord. Hallelujah, Father. Lord, right now, I ask, buksan mo po ang mga mata ng pangunawa ng bawat isa. Buksan mo po ang aming mga spiritual eyes, Lord, para makita namin ng higit na malalim ang mga bagay na nais mong ipaunawa sa amin na hindi kami tumingin ayon sa mga bagay na pisikal, kundi tingnan namin ang mga bagay na sa ayon sa pamamaraang spiritual. Ama, tulungan mo po kami. Father, help us. Help us, Lord, because we also acknowledge that apart from you, we can do nothing. Amin pong kinikilala na kung kami malayo sa iyo, wala po kaming magagawa sa aming sarili. Father, we thank you because you're a good God. And you answer his prayers. Father, from this time on, Lord, we pray that our eyes will be opened and our ears will be opened. We have a sharp mind, we have a sharp Eyes, we have a sharp ears, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for blessing us these things right now. We claim it in Jesus' mighty name. This we pray. Amen and amen. 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 And uh, palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. At um, tayo po ay um, let us just remain standing for the uh, benediction. Let us raise our right hand. Itaas po natin yung ating kam kanang kamay. And then, may the Lord bless you and take care of you. Amen. May the Lord be kind and gracious to you. Amen. May the Lord look on you with favor and give you peace. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be upon us all. Amen. Amen. Surely, Surely, goodness, goodness and, mercy and mercy shall follow me, shall follow me all, the days of my life, all the days of my life. And I shall dwell, I shall dwell in, the in the house of the Lord forever. Amen and amen. Let us clap our hands for the Lord. Amen. God bless us all. And uh, we have come to the end of our uh, service today. God bless us all.